like that little island. Here we are, with all the bugs. We made it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back to another episode, you guys. We're in a vastly different location. We are not on the ocean. We're at a very large lake. <laughs> and it is very deserty. But it is beautiful. Super beautiful. So I got here yesterday, actually. And uh, I set up the inflatable cabin tent. And it was really windy last night. So I just kind of hung out in the tent and uh, batten down the hatches. I made up a beautiful looking steak and I sure enjoyed it. It was a really relaxing time. So now today, I figure I bring you guys along. And uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a good old time, you know, bomb outdoor style and just kind of see what the day brings. I brought along the canoe, so we'll do a little bit of paddling and, and some fishing. Hopefully we won't have the winds like we had yesterday. Otherwise, I won't be out there on the canoe. Well, I probably should take you guys on a tour of the cabin real quick. Got our nice inflatable cabin. 
We got our couch bed. We got my cook station. And I did bring along the wood stove. It's almost summertime, but we're having some really cold temperatures around here in the Pacific Northwest, which is kind of weird. So I brought along the wood stove. I'm not sure if I'll use it because I didn't need it last night, but we got our cook station. All my totes and stuff down there. I did bring along my uh, poncho because it did rain last night. We've got the duck lamp. And that's pretty much it. A nice, cozy location. Oh, the skylights are so cool. <laughs> oh, man. A very beautiful place, you guys. Well, I'm nice and full off of breakfast, so maybe it's time to go, uh, go out there and paddle around for a little bit before the wind gets bad. Those are your real fishermen right there. They're already out there fishing. Man, it's a beautiful day. It wasn't forecasted to be this nice, to be honest with you. It was supposed to be uh, very, it was supposed to be rainy and cold, and uh, it feels like the perfect temperature right now. Now the water temperatures are still very cold, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay close to the shore. I'm not gonna go far out there. I really just wanna putt around a little bit, get my sea legs again, you know? This is the first time on the canoe this year. Oh wow. There's like a little, little tiny island out there. Wonder if I can go out to that. We'll see if we can paddle out there. Might as well do a little trolling while I paddle, so I'll change it up here.
Oh, I got a big one, you guys. Big one. Oh, yeah. I got a big old sea monster. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Here's that little island. It's, uh, it's not far from from the land at all. It's very rocky out here, that's for sure. We'll go ahead and troll around it, see if we can catch a snag at least. wonder if this uh, little island would be fun to camp on. You got a little parking spot right here. There's no way to get up there. This is nice and rocky. Maybe there's uh, some fish hiding in here. I think they like the rocks too. It's worth a shot. catch anything yet. The wind is starting to change, kind of picking up a little bit. It might be time to kind of paddle back. With how bad, with how bad the winds were yesterday, I don't want to be out here with that.
these cloud formations are just crazy right now. I get sun, I get clouds, wind. I think there's some rain out that way for sure. I don't know what we're going to get hit with later on. But it's really cool to watch the clouds just kind of transform and take shape, you know. Another one of those beautiful things, beautiful thing. <laughs> Oh, this is a relaxing place. I really like this. It's a nice location. Definitely different than uh, my last video. It's more desert, but it has its beauty. I need to create some shade around here. Um, I think I might be able to put up my awning, but I only have one pole. So I was thinking maybe I could use my paddle for my, uh, for my canoe. It might work. It's just, it's getting high, you guys. I need a place to hide. Pole though because the pole itself was way too big. Well for dinner later on we're gonna be doing a chicken dish. So I'm gonna marinate some chicken real quick that way it tastes nice and good before we put it on the barbecue. Let it sit like this for a little bit. We're gonna marinate it with this paradise pineapple teriyaki. Sounds delicious. Get that back in the cooler to get it cool. All right. All right, it's time to start dinner and I'm starving. I've got a really unique one and it involves another pineapple. <laughs> oh boy, always finding fun and creative things to make. As long as it tastes good, I'll be happy with it. Gotta take our pineapple and cut it in half. Hopefully I can do this. Gotta carve this out. Not sure how this is gonna work. But it's all but this is kind of a all about the presentation type dish. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. There we go. That works. Oh, whoa. 
past him. We're gonna get that grilling now. Also, I skewered up the pineapple, some red bell pepper, and some onions. So we'll get those fired up too. Okay, now on to step two. Little bit of oil. Got a nice char on it. That's what I was looking for. Little saute action here. Add in some rice. A lot of rice. Soy sauce. Oh, look at those. That looks like some nice chicken right there. Oh, so tasty. Okay, now we take our pineapple bowl. We load it up with some of that rice. Then we grab our chicken. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, look at that, you guys. Ooh, look at that. Amazing. Voila! <laughs> oh man, that looks tasty. Look at that thing. Wow. Mm -mm. Dearly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day, Lord. The weather's been up and down. It's been sunny, it's been cloudy. Chances of rain, cold, it's all over the place. And it's kind of like life, Lord. Sometimes we have those sunshiny days and sometimes we have those gloomy ones. But Lord, we know that you're always there with us. And our joy doesn't come from the weather, it comes from you. And Lord, I just pray that if there's somebody out there right now that just uh, needs some, some sort of lifting up, Lord, I pray that somehow this video or these encouraging words will just help them. And Lord, I just thank you for this food and I pray you'll bless it to my body. I pray you'll be with the family as I'm away. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Oh boy, you guys. Man, nice little presentation there. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> we've got rice, we've got onions, bell pepper, pineapple, and delicious looking chicken down the hatch. Oh man, that was good. Man, that marinade is amazing. Kona Coast. Marinade and grilling. This is a good one, you guys. I like that. I, li I might even put a little more on top. Just a little bit. Kind of juice it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. That is so good. All right, it's time for some dessert. We're doing chocolate chip cookies. I did this last night and it turned out pretty good. So check this out. All right, so I've got this little pie oven or whatever you call this thing. It's like a little pie maker. Yeah, pie iron, there you go. So what you do, you take our pie iron and uh, you open it up. There you go, got two sides there. We're gonna put our cookie dough right in the middle of that. Doop. Well, something like that. I'm 
I'm gonna close it up. The trick is, is that we still got our charcoal going. What I did is I just set it right on top of it. Just like that, and closed it up. And then in a little bit, we'll just check on it. Make sure we got ourselves a nice cookie. All right, let's have a look at that. See how that cookie is doing. Oh, look at that. Woo. Oh, got a little crispy. Oh, kind of broke up there. But hey, look at that. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a good cookie. Mmm, look at that. Nice cookie right there. Mmm. A little bit of burn this there, but... A nice little cookie. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. That's really good. I wanted to try this in the fire, but the barbecue did great. There you go. Mmm. Well, it's currently 7 o'clock in the evening. This is one of the longest days, I believe. Uh, today is the 21st. So I think either it's today or tomorrow's the longest day. But I've still got a lot of sun up there. attempt to go back to that island and maybe get on top of it. I'm going to attempt to go back to that island and uh, see if I can climb on top. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just kind of feel like doing it. And I want to go see if there's any place to camp up there. Maybe I could camp up there someday. It'd be kind of fun, maybe. Sure is beautiful out here right now. It's currently 7.40. It's still going we still got quite a bit of light left. It's gonna go down below that uh, mountain here soon, but it's giving us a little bit of sneak peek of golden hour right now. We'll go in a circle around it real quick. Kind of eyeball the best spot to get in. Hmm. Maybe that's it right here. Climb up that bank. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of like a beach. Treacherous. Okay, it does look like people go up right here. 
Watch out for snakes. Don't want to get any snakes. <laughs> okay. Down there's the canoe. More going up there. Hey, this ain't bad. These bugs. <laughs> oh my word. The amount of bugs. <laughs> I can't even breathe. Wow. I'm going to name this Bug Island. And there's about a bazillion bugs flying around my head right now. Here we are with all the bugs. We made it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm inhaling bugs. Okay, <laughs> I already had enough protein today. I gotta get down. Oh, these bugs are bad. <laughs> Slow. Focus, easy, easy. Alright, I got below it. That was bad. Really bad. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I inhaled at least like I don't know how many <laughs> how many books. Beautiful sunset right now. Going beyond them mountains. Let's get back in the boat and enjoy it. <sighs> what do you say? <sighs> It's muddy, and it is slippery. <laughs> Gross! Oh no! Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's bad. Bye-bye, son. See you tomorrow. Lord willing. There's home for one more night. Beautiful sunset. Very nice. This water looks really cool right now.
I got myself a little hot chocolate. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Feels good going down the belly. It's getting pretty late, though it is still light out. It's currently, well, it's almost 10 and I can still see, see the blue sky. Um, and it looks like the temperature inside is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's going to stay nice and comfortable tonight. So I'm not even going to fire up the fire up the wood stove. I thought I was going to have one last hot tent, but I don't need it. I don't need to be sweating. We'll save that for next time. I was hoping to get some rain though. One of these days I'll get I'll get you guys a rain video. <laughs> it just seems to be fair weather around here right now. Well, let's go outside real quick and I'll show you guys how light it is. Because this is like the longest day, I think, of the year. Well, guys, it's uh, currently, currently 9.57, so it's just about 10 o'clock right now. And this is how much light we have. Oh, it's the moon and some star. Still have some daylight. And we've got our tent just a shining. <laughs> wow. It's pretty cool. It's a lot brighter out here than uh, my camera is really portraying. But... Man, that looks cool. The moon looks really cool right now. It's got that uh, star right below it. Actually, we should check that out. Let's see what star that is or what planet. Okay, so there's the moon. And what else I'm looking at? It looks like Venus and Mars are out there, but I can't even see them. The bright thing must be this. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the brightest star right now. It's really weird. Whatever this little constellation is. I gotta show you guys my latest purchase. It's my uh, lantern, which has like a couple of little functions on it. You got like low, bright, brighter, and then you have bug zapper. <laughs> ah, yeah. Should come in handy, I hope. Maybe we'll uh, zap some bugs tonight. You never know. All right, I'm all cozied up in bed. Nice and comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is camping, right? I feel like I'm uh I'm in the living room sleeping on the couch. <laughs> ah. Luxury. Luxury camping edition, you know. You guys know I like to camp in style. Sometimes I feel like I overdo it though. Yeah. Comfortable night's sleep is always the best. You gotta feel good when you wake up in the morning, especially when you're in the woods. Or, I guess I'm in the desert. But, anyways, it was a good day. It was a, a long day. I've been out here for a couple days now, so I'm, I'm ready to go home tomorrow. We'll get up early, get everything packed up, and move on out. All right, you guys, I'm going to get some good sleep tonight, and I will see all of you in 
the morning. Good night. Nothing like a shot of espresso in the morning. That'll pep things up real quick. Especially for me. It really gets me going. And it tastes good. Ah, quick and easy. Looks like it's gonna shape up to be a beautiful day. We've got quite a few fishermen out there already. Somebody cruising out there right now. Cheers to them, hopefully they catch a fish. <laughs> I know they're probably better fishermen than me. I just enjoy getting out there on the water and playing around, goofing around. Well, I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich real quick and then we gotta tear down and get out of here. I gotta make it quick. Look how non-stick this pan is. I haven't added any butter at all, and I'm able to rotate my egg without effort. It is so cool. My favorite pan. It's a GSI Pinnacle, I believe.
Oh, you guys. Look at that breakfast sandwich. Much better than McDonald's, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, she's uh, pretty empty now. Now I just gotta deflate it, pack it up. All right, I'm all packed up and I'm heading out. Sure was a good time, you guys. I hope you guys had fun too. So I gotta drive home, get home to the family, and boy, do I need a shower. As always, thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!